hello guys and welcome back so before adding the functionality to play the game with different characters first of all let's work on this menu when the player clicks on this then we will open up that scene which contain this character and when the player clicks on the other characters we will play their specific scene okay so for that first of all if you click on this flutter drum let's go inside the scene we have this okay click on save actually we have this scene which contain our female character okay so for the female we will play this scene let's duplicate this scene okay we have now this zombie line one let's actually rename this and make the one join with the zombie line okay now let's duplicate this again and change the name to zombie line two okay so for the character one we will play this scene for the character two it is the other character we will play this scene and for the third one we will play that scene okay and in every scene for example in this scene we have this character and when we play the zombie land one scene right here we will change this character with the next one and the same for this one okay now for now let's open up the zombie land one and also if we click on build settings let's add the other scenes as well Okay, make sure to do that and after this let's go inside the scene main menu let's select this one let me deactivate that one okay for this now we need to create a script let's create a c sharp script by the name of select character click on this and let's try and drop that script there open the script and right here we will be dealing with the scene management so add that and then right here let's create a function for selecting our first character so we will name this as on character one we will play the zombie land scene okay if we check the scenes we will play this scene so actually let's copy this line from the main menu paste it right here then let's create a function for the other two as well public world on character 2 we want to play the zombie one scene now and for the character 3 we want to play the zombie land to see okay that is it save that we have the script right here let's open this up select all of the three players and actually we need to select their button okay so select these three buttons and right here add a condition drag and drop this select character in there now on the player one we will call this on character one function on the player two button we will call this on character two and on this three we will call this on character three and that is it now let's play the game and actually it will play the same scene again and again because in both of the, these three scenes we have the same female character we will change the character but in the next video for now we are just testing it now let's play the game and now let's click on options okay we have these three characters let's select this one and as you can see the that scene is being loaded okay so it means now that this is working and now the next thing which we want to do is to add a back button on this okay for example right here we will add a back button so right here in the menu let's add a UI button okay and let's name this as back button
we can actually move this to the top as well if we want but we want to give this button right here let's actually select this bottom left okay and then select the button a little bit right here now we have the back button let's move this let's make this invisible focus on this button change the text to back get a phone size of let's just say 20 let's select the let's change its color to white and also let's add a shadow to this by 5 minus 5 okay so we have the back button right here we need to change its button color as well so actually if we open on this menu then in here we have this button let's copy this component and in this let's paste component values and as you can see it changes that as well but we don't want that so we'll paste that and select the function right here we don't have the function for now but we have the button now so let's add a function for this right here on the top let's create a function which will be public void on back button on back button what we want to do we want to go back to the main menu so as we did right here we will enable and disable that so first of all at the top we need a reference to the select character in the main menu canvas and after that when we press the back button then what we will do we will simply deactivate the select character canvas and we will activate the main menu canvas okay that's it let's save this now let's click on this back button right here let's select the function on back button and also right here we need to assign the select character in the main menu that's it now let's activate the main menu and deactivate the select character menu now let's play the game now we can play the game from here but if you click on options as you can see we have this back button now and we have the characters let's click on the back button we are now back right here okay so now everything works and now in the next video we will add different characters to our game so catch you guys in the next one